you have to reduce the speed on your vehicles because it's no longer safe. You get a 250 ton mining truck with 250 more tons of rocks in it, and you cannot execute a maneuver unless you have some reasonable feeling it's safe. If you can't estimate terrain and you can't estimate the load, I would submit that it is impossible to guarantee that you have any degree of safety. And so that's the, the goal of this method. Um, we're using, to do it, a, as I mentioned, a pre-calculation of the force moment diagrams that allows you to take into account some of the nonlinear dynamics of the vehicle. And it allows you to represent it in a way that kind of separates out the vehicle itself and is capable of representing the entire maneuvering space at one time. And so this method, uh, which unfortunately we haven't had a chance to uh, validate with much real vehicle testing yet, but it should allow for real-time calculation of instant Maneuver maneuvering space and allow you to avoid some of the situations you saw in those videos uh, by planning ahead instead of trying to correct it after it happens. Obviously, this is never a guarantee. You're not always going to detect that black ice in time. But if you have a sensor that can do it, this is a way in which you can actually safely maneuver and safely figure out what turning rates, what speeds, what accelerations can I command that have a reasonable chance of being safe. So a couple of acknowledgments on this. Uh, Caterpillar Incorporated is sponsoring some of this work. I'd also like to acknowledge my dissertation committee uh, with a special acknowledgment to Dr. Uh, Sandu. The one time I missed a conference banquet, I ended up standing her up for a uh, presentation. Uh, I apologize for that. I had no idea that was happening. Uh, so special apology to her. And I acknowledge also Dr. Wicks, who's sitting in the back there. So uh, does anybody have any questions? <laughs>